idea had the Holy Ghost. Joseph, didn't complain when the brothers betrayed him. See, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand about church. You're going to get betrayed. Turn on the back side of your paper. Turn on the back side real quick. There are going to be six different, this, this, I'm just giving six. There's probably some more, but I'm going to give you the six main. There are going to be six different types of people that you're going to have to try to provoke to love and the good works. That you're going to have to be, you're going to have to take some time out of your day. And I, I know you don't want to, you know, get involved in this and that, but if we the salt, the only way that they can be straightened out, the salt has to do it. The only way that they can see how this thing is going, the light going to have to show. Yeah. And Jesus had said at one point, I am the light of this world. Yeah. But in Matthew, in Matthew 5, and, 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 and in uh, uh, the 14th verse, he said, you are that light. Because he wants to be guided to him. Now, we are that light. Yeah. Oh, but here's the first kind of person you're going to run into. A promise breaker. All right. It's not a person in here that God has not blessed financially, that somebody has asked you for some money. Don't y'all get quiet on me when I'm preaching good. And they promise you what they were going to do. Well, I got the Bible for it. Proverbs 22 and 1. A good name is more desirable than great riches. So when you mess your name up by not doing what you said you were going to do, they borrowed your, they borrowed your tractor. They tore your tractor up. Right. And you let me borrow it. If anything happens, I'll get it fixed. No, not in here with me. You're going to have promise breakers. But you're going to have to be willing to get involved with the promise breaker. Because the Bible said, don't forsake the assembling of yourself. Because God is assembly. He didn't say the assembly. He's not talking about the folks that assemble, that come together. He's talking about those he's putting together. That's going on to the next level, going to, and going on to the he's assembling. He put, the Bible says fitly joined together. Yeah. And the only way we can get fitly joined together, we're gonna have to take time out with that brother that's lagging behind it. All they need is an encouragement word sometimes, but we don't want to get involved if they mess it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're gonna be salt and light, you're gonna have some promise breakers. Mm -hmm. The next group you're gonna have is some double crosses. Y'all stand here with me. Matthew 26 and 48. Now the betrayer had a ring. See, they already have a ring signal. In other words, people will have already assigned a little pet name to you. And they can talk right in front of you without you knowing they're talking about you. They did it to me in a church. The, the, the pastor uh, uh, nicknamed me Lucifer. So when he said Lucifer, he's talking about me. And I was able to take it because I had got way past the outer school. Y'all better help me with this. I had got past the wash basin. I was through wash. I had got into the inner court, had got to the hall, and I was on my way going into that other place. Y'all might know it. And when they began to talk about me, it didn't affect me. But see, that's where we're going to have to be because if we are salt, salt can shake stuff off. Help me, hold me up. Salt is the one that's going to do the preserving. I'll oh, stand here with me. And, and then, so you're going to have the double cross, a range of signals. And they're going to do something nice. <laughs> Y'all watch that. Y'all watch both. That's overly nice. Yeah. Bible even talk about flattering. Mm -hmm. Flattering me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor, you just, oh, that thing is, you don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all live here with me. Yeah. You're going to have individuals that self absorbed. Mm. It's all about them. And watch what happens. Proverbs 8 and 1. An unfriendly man, that's man or woman, pursues selfish ends. He defiles all sound judgment. When you step in soil, you, you can't hear nothing that anybody is saying because you, you got a one track mind. Amen. You, you, made, you just made up your mind this is the way it is. I can hear it no other way. Until I get it a different way. But to a certain extent, that's true. That's all of us. But never get selfish. Absorbed. The next group you're going to have is the discloser. Somebody said the discloser. That's the one going to tell stuff. Uh -huh. They shouldn't be talking about. Amen. They're going to disclose it. Uh -huh. 
But you still have to be willing to deal with this closeness. Because you saw it. You were like, see, something we shouldn't even be talking about. Because first of all, it's not even our. And then we're talking about things that have nothing that we can either change, make better, but we sure can make it work. So he called the disposal of gossip. Mm -hmm. The next kind is the competitor. That's folks that's in competition with you. Y'all right. stand here with me. Right. We are responsible for the competitor. He please ask this four and four. And I saw that all the labor and all the achievements sprang from a man's envy of his name. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. That's like me trying to help me with this. Keep up with the Joneses. Well, let me use these Joneses for a minute. <laughs> I 
was living high on a hole. And I walked up to the desk with confidence. Because I had a piece of paper in my hand. Brother Billy from Christ. That had a confirmation number. And that gave me confidence. That number gave me confidence. And I knew that even if the hotel was completely booked, they're going to have to put somebody out their room. Y'all not in here with me. Because I have a confirmed number. And I don't care if you gave the, that last person that you gave, if you gave him the president's suite. You got to put him out. Because I have a confirmation. As Mr. Cockrun, when we book things, we get confirmation. So confirmation is what gives us confidence. How many of you know that the Spirit of God is our confirmation? He said, I'll send you a confidence. You can't provoke somebody else to love that a backbiter and a double crosser unless you have the Spirit of God working in your life. Under the old covenant, you couldn't do it anyway because you didn't have the ability. He said, go ahead and hate your enemy. You can't do it. You can't love your enemy. Go ahead and divorce your wife. He said, write her. He said, he told her how to do it. He said, write a bill of divorcement right. and hand it to her. Oh, yeah. And then she would take the shoe off of one of his feet. Y'all don't know the Bible, do you? <laughs> and the Bible said he'd take the shoe off one of the feet and spit on the big toe. Wow, uh, y'all didn't know that. Did. <laughs> but she'd keep the shoe. Because right. the shoe was evident that he took the shoe off. Y'all not in here. But let me talk when I'm about through. I'm, I'm through off a tape running out. Help me hold it. Even when the virgin would be married to a man, that man would give a father a daughter. Because he didn't give his daughter away from nothing. And he'd get the equivalent, y'all better help me right now, of what he said, he said his daughter was worth. And even Jacob, he worked 14 years for one woman. Help me hold it up. That's why they pulled the day for the work for them. <laughs> but what they would do to prove that that woman was a virgin, the Bible said they would lay a token on, in the bridal bed. Y'all not in here with me. The token was a clean white cloth right. that they lay in the bridal bed. Mm -hmm. Y'all stand here. It's not too many children in here. And the Bible said after the consummation that night, the father-in-law, he put evidence. He come get the token yeah. uh -huh. and fold it up. They didn't have DNA back then. <laughs> but he keep the evidence because if she was a virgin, she was going to hear us. Y'all not even with me. And that was his proof that she was a virgin. Yeah. So he keep the token. Yeah. But sometimes when the father-in-law go in there to get the token, there was no evidence after the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and he'd go back to that father and say, give him my money back. <laughs> God not in the business of casting his folk away. Yeah. So be careful. Because God is using you and promoting you. Make sure you're provoking folks to love and good. But come on, bring them all along with you. Come on, put your hands together. That's right. Bring them all along with you. Let them see you happy. Let them see you have peace. Let them see you have joy. And show them there's a better way than what they're doing. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. Yeah.